What's up guys, Felipe with Felipe Fitness here. Uh, first of all, let me thank you for watching this video. So thank you. Uh, second of all, this video is pretty much just about the chest. I'm gonna talk about ways to develop it properly, to give it a more aesthetic look, to help you just to get to your goals a little easier. Alright, so uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you a few different examples of certain exercises that you can do to help develop that chest, to bring it out a little more, to bring out the separation between your shoulders and your chest a little better, to give it a more chiseled, uh, rounded out type of look rather than a flabby mess, basically. Now, First of all, you need to know that the chest is divided into separate muscle fibers, just like any muscle group. Um, but the chest definitely has different muscle fibers that run in different directions. So in this video, I'm going to be referring to the chest in two parts. The upper chest, right up here, which, is about, which makes up about 20% of your overall chest, and the mid and lower part of the chest, or um, I'll just say the lower part of the chest, which makes up the last 80% of your chest. So it's the, the majority of it. Now the importance of these two words is because the different exercises I sh show you will emphasize these different areas of the chest a little more um, during these exercises, which will determine what your chest ends up actually looking like. If it looks a little thicker or looks a little more defined, uh, a little more chiseled. Depending on what exercises you actually do and what you focus on will determine in what direction your chest actually goes, basically. All right, so let's start by talking about the upper chest. All right, so first of all, let's talk about the upper chest. Uh, let me explain what I mean by upper chest. So. I did talk about earlier, just a few seconds ago, how the fibers in your chest, um, depending on where they are, run in separate directions. So in the upper chest, which makes up roughly about 20% of your chest, runs along here right at the top, okay? Just right up here, and in a nutshell, um, those that part of your chest can be emphasized a little more by typically doing incline type exercises now that's not always the case but for the most part yes um, so if you focus mainly on incline type of pressing exercises then you're going to emphasize the upper portion of your chest a little more during your workout now the reason why this is so important is because working this part of your chest um, will actually bring it out more, will make it a little thicker. So if you're concerned about um, the flatness of your chest and you want to bring that out more, then I strongly suggest you focus on doing incline exercises during your chest routine. Um, and that's, I've been asked that question a lot, like how do you bring out your chest? And I just simply do tell people to do incline stuff. Most typically uh, incline dumbbell chest presses. Uh, but I mean there are, there, like I said, there are a couple other exercises that you can do to help with that. And that's actually what I'm about to show you right now. So let's go do that. All right, so the first exercise I'm gonna show you guys is what I call a low cable fly. Now there might be other names for it. When I show you this in a minute, you might even know what I'm talking about and never done it yourself, but this is what I call a low cable fly. So you're gonna need a cable machine just like this one, but you're gonna need both sides, all right? Now, once you got the cable machine, you take the head here and just bring it all the way to the bottom and attach one of these D-handles on. Do that same thing for the other side. And then once you do that, just pick the weight that you're going to do. I'm keeping it light just so I have an easier time showing you guys what this exercise actually is. Alright, so 
so the low cable fly, I've got everything set up, so let's get started. So you're gonna stand in between the handles, grab the handles with an underhand grip. So your palms are facing out for this one. Now, typically you wanna step forward just a little bit. There we go. Now your arms are gonna be down and out at a 45 degree angle. So right about here, you don't want it right next to your body and you definitely don't want it up here as if you were doing a regular cable fly. So keep them out like that. Keep your elbows slightly bent, like so. You don't wanna lock out the elbows. You definitely don't wanna bring the arms in too much. So. We're about right here. There we go. So I'm ready to go. Now all I'm doing from here is just pulling the handles up in front of my chest. Right about here bringing the handles together as I do so and then back down and that's one. Now for a better contraction you're going to come up and hold it for a second and then back down. Now like I said you don't want your arms next to your side so you don't want to swing it up like this and you don't want them out like that. Otherwise, you're just doing a cable fly. And that's gonna hit the chest a little differently. So keep the arms out at an angle and just up in front of your chest and then back down, all right? Like I said, that's exercise number one, which is going to emphasize the upper chest, which also emphasizes the front delts a little more, which in turn will help to thicken the chest, but also create a little more separation between your shoulder and your chest. All right, so that's exercise number one. Let's get to exercise number two. All right, guys, so exercise number two, you're gonna need the cable machine again. And just like exercise number one, the handles here, the head here is going to be right at the bottom, so keep them there, but this time, I brought over an incline bench and then with that incline bench you're going to put it right in between uh, the handles here. Alright, so that's really all you're going to need to do this incline cable fly. Alright guys, so um, once you've got everything set up, you're ready to go. The incline cable fly is just another exercise that's going to help to emphasize the upper chest and put a little more emphasis on the shoulder. So, let's get started. I'm going to grab both my handles here. Lie back on the incline bench. You're going to start with your arms up. Again, you want your arms, your elbows slightly bent, just like the first exercise. Not in too much and definitely not locked out so right about here this is the starting position then from here you bring your arms down to your upper arms are parallel with the floor so right here and then back up to the middle and that's one so bring it down right here and back up two three four and so forth all right, now, with that exercise, you can change the incline of the bench. The further down it is, or the flatter it is, or parallel to the floor, I should say, um, the, less of the, the less emphasis there's going to be on the shoulders and the upper part of the chest. And it's going to put more emphasis overall on the chest. Um, so if you bring that incline up, you're hitting the upper chest a little more, but that just makes the exercise itself a little harder. But there is nothing wrong with that, so it's up to you guys what you want to do there. So, those are two exercises for the upper part of the chest. Now I want to show you guys two exercises for the lower part of the chest, which like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, is more, makes up the bigger part of the chest, or about 80% of the chest or so. So, um, let me show you those. Alright guys, so the first exercise that I suggest is a decline dumbbell chest press. Now you've probably seen this before, maybe you've even done it. It's very similar to a regular fat, flat bench bench press. Um, the only difference is, as you can see here, it's on an incline, which is going to make the exercise a little harder. But honestly, decline type exercises are actually going to be a little more effective 
at hitting the, those low, that lower chest than say a typical flat bench exercise. Now I do not suggest that you ignore flat bench exercises. This is just another idea. So if you typically don't do these, then I highly recommend that you start adding them into your routine. All right guys, so the uh, decline ch dumbbell chest press. I've got my dumbbells here. Here's the decline bench, so let's get started. So first of all, get in position. Feet up here, lie back. And just like a typical dumbbell bench press, you bring your arms out beside you so that the dumbbells are right outside the chest and not over. About here. Keep your elbows in at more of an angle, not directly out, right about here. And then you're ready to go. So all you're doing is pushing straight up. Don't completely lock out the elbows when you do so, but get as close as you can, and then back down. So that's one, two, three, four, and so forth. So that's uh, exercise number one which is like I said earlier, is going to emphasize the lower portion of the chest, the dumbbell or the uh, decline dumbbell chest press. All right, let's head over there and we'll do exercise number two. All right guys, so exercise number two, you're going to do some floor wipers. The only equipment you're going to need for this exercise is just the floor somewhere. Once you've got that, then you're good to go. So uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so the floor wipers, like I said, all you're going to need is a floor and then you're good to go. Now for this exercise, you're going to be starting in a push-up position. So, push-up position, but the big difference is that instead of your hands being right underneath your shoulders, you actually want to spread them out. So they're right about here, alright? now. I'm sorry you guys can't see this, but when you spread your hands out, they should already also be turned out as well. It's going to make it a lot easier on your wrists when you actually do this exercise. So, get in position, spread your hands out, turn them out to the side, and then you're good to go. You're, you're in the starting position now. From here, what you're going to do is start down, alright? And then you're basically just going back and forth back and forth. So let me guys give you a better view on that exercise actually. So you'll start on your right, push up a little bit and go to your left and just keep going back and forth. You don't want to come all the way up and do it like that. Stay down. Two, three, four, five and just go back and forth like this. Really gonna feel it in that chest, and especially those shoulders. All right, so that's exercise number two, the uh, floor wipers. Now, like I said, this is going to emphasize the lower portion of the chest, which is going to help to give it a more defined look, um, more chisel look. So if your chest is looking a little flabby, I guess you could say, then you want to focus on more flat bench type exercises or decline exercises or the floor wipers that I just barely showed you guys. All right, now, if you do these two type of exercises, um, pretty even ratio, it's going to give you a more aesthetic look to your chest. Um, if you're really concerned about bringing out that chest, then focus on doing incline exercises for the upper chest. If you're looking for a more chiseled look, if you're more concerned about that right now, then do flat bench type exercises or decline exercises, all right? So, if you do those exercises or those type of exercises, it help you to reach your goals a lot quicker, all right? All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully it helped you in any way. If it did, then please give this video a thumbs up. Even if it didn't, give it a thumbs up anyways, I don't care. Just give it a lot of likes, that's basically it. Um, if it helped you, then it'll probably help somebody else, so definitely appreciate it if you guys shared this video with others. 
And if you haven't done so already, then please subscribe to my channel, Felipe Fitness, and that way I can keep you guys up to date on more videos that I put out. Now, sorry for the difference in quality between the very first part of the video and the very last part, which is right now. Uh, what happened is my camera, um, which isn't that great of camera anyways, I used, um, just died on me, so I'm using my phone now, so I'm finishing up with that. But yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel so I can keep you guys up to date, and I will see you next time. Bye.